the new 2024 Malibu 23 MXZ. This boat is the same colors, minus the light graphite base, as the uh, 2021 we just looked at. But there are some pretty sharp cosmetic changes that they allow in the 2024 model year. You kind of see both bows side by side. Looks really cool when you look at them this way. Not sure if that's helpful or not. But we look up into the bow of the 2024. Remarkably similar, a couple subtle changes. Width-wise, about the same. One of the coolest features is we have low beam and high beam both illuminated, whereas on the last boat we only had the low beam. Looking around the side of this boat, your lines, your gel coat lines are actually carrying all the way to the bow versus before where they cut up on the 21 to 2023s. You've got the newer, actually fully filled in cleats. If you look at the back of these, they're actually fully filled in on the back of the cleat. Malibu started doing this in 2024. It gives it a really nice, clean, solidified finish feeling. You should never, ever have to worry about holding power. It's got a big plate on the back that holds it in spot. Now, the gunnel on this boat is noticeably deeper. I'm gonna stand next to uh, kind of where I did on the other boat. Right here. You'll notice 23 MXZ windshield on the 2024 is a little sharper. When you're looking from the inside out, these bezels and edges right here are significantly, I would say 20, 30, 40% thinner than a 2021 to 2020 to 2023. So newer windshield for 2024. And then the lines here juts up and back down, much different than the 2023 and prior. Looking across the back of this boat, you'll notice right away the soft grip, totally different design. And that carries into the CNC stitching in the boat. A little bit newer grab handle. And your transom camera, rear facing camera, is a uh, more, it's far better resolution. That's the word I'm looking for. Much better resolution than years prior. When you look at the flip down swim board for 2024, you actually have a sensor that tells you when the board is up and when the board is down. So if it's up, no problem. When it's down, it'll let you know on the dashboard. Power Wedge 3 still in effect, optional underwater LEDs. And you get these newer surf gates. It's larger, but so is the back of the boat or the gunnels of the boat. What's interesting for this model year, when you look at the boat, they've actually tapered the transom of the boat and the edge of the boat which allows it to sit a little bit lower in the water and kick up a bigger wave. Pretty remarkable engineering how they've made that work. Now, it might not make sense if, uh, if you don't put it to practice and drop it in the water and try it out, but I've been fortunate to ride both boats. I can tell you, certainly the wave on this boat, probably 10% larger than previous year. Trailer updates for 2024 frame is the same the bunks have been moved to custom fit the actual uh new hull 2024 and newer boats will have 14 inch fuel rims these are new for 2024 standard wheels 14 inch wheels for all malibu trailers transom step one slime line led and it tapers back whereas towards the wheel wells it tapers open Small, subtle change, but gives it a really sharp, polished look. Let's hop up in the boat and check out the back. Just looking at the transom of the boat on the way in. A little bit, a little bit different. What you're gonna notice right away, you still have your flip up seat here. Super sharp and accessible to the transom blower area of the boat, but you actually have a finished pad on the back. So you could sit here with a fully padded seat back, whereas before it was just the soft grip finish. What you do retain, same ski pylon. Looking as uh, looking in inside the boat, 
when you look at these cushions, you have the interior base right here. You have the interior main where the ebony is. Interior accent, interior accent too. I might have got those out of order. Stick with me. But you have more color options. You have more spaces to color in the 2024 than you did the 2020 through 2023. You've got your base, your accent, your main, accent too. Now as we look through the boat, you can tell the lines. They're much more, uh, I don't know what the word is. Much sharper, much more geo, geo, geometric than the previous years. Bow, it's gonna be about the same size. Again, we'll start at the front, work our way back. What's different here, you still got the fin finished panels. You do have an optional Natalie seat where you can pick it up and the seat will hold right there. We opted for the windscreen that slides in like you saw earlier. Armrests, exactly the same. And on this boat, there's your plexiglass. You have full ballast underneath the bow of the boat. Looking on the gunnels on the side, you actually now have optional phone holders and they can have optional wireless charging. Upgrade one is the phone holder. Upgrade two is wireless charging throughout the boat. So when we're looking at the side here, you still got your two USBs and your 12 volt outlet. You have one larger phone holder, and then you have an optional wireless or non-wireless phone holder. Two cup holders, new speaker grill, we'll get into those. Storage in the bow. And for 2024, you have a nice finished CNC stitching. You should recognize this pattern. When you look up the center of it, it's the same as the flooring on the boat. So all matches very, very well. Nice seat backs finished there. And here's a look at the new windshield. Much more thin bezel edge for better viewing capacity. Nice Malibu finish. and. Almost like a bed liner texture, really finely finished bed liner texture on the exterior here. Pull up your seat here. This is actually your battery box underneath of here. Batteries are hidden and away now. Looking at the dashboard of the boat, this should be very familiar to the 2020 through 2023. Call it Gen 1 of the uh, 23MXZs. Dashboard is the same for all Malibus moving into 2024. Power seat is retained. Surf band is retained. Flat bottom steering wheel, more of a sports car steering wheel, retained. But you do have a far better viewing area out of that windshield than you did years prior. You have a wireless charging pad here where you do opt in for wireless charging in the sport dash. Cup holders and speakers, same. Now, as you look down the gunnel of this boat, it's gonna be similar, but not quite the same as the 20, the, the first generation. This is Gen 2. So you've got the newer speaker grill, which is really sharpened for Malibu only. You've got your phone holders and wallet holders. You can actually put more in these, and they're actually elevated. So if water did get in here, you had your phone here, it's actually elevated so that water won't sit where your phone is. 12 volt and USB trash can. And again, this design is actually going to match perfectly to the design on the floor of the boat and your CNC stitching on the seat. When you opt in for the wireless phone holders, to so opt in for the phone holders, and then you can opt up twice for the wireless charging. Still have your USBs, but now you have a phone holder for your devices. As we hop into this boat, something new for this year, you're gonna have the step here and the step, the walkthrough in the back. Walkthrough in the transom is not new. Step here, you can opt in or out for the seat if you wanna use it for cushion versus take the cushion out for folks to step. Again, you got your CNC stitching, nicely finished gunnel, 
wireless phone chargers. You got two on the port side. You got three eight inch speakers, two cup holders, four cup holders, five, six, seven cup holders. Now let's take a look at how these seats open. When you look at the 2024s, they're actually gonna open this direction, which is much easier to use and access your stuff. Also new, if you heard that click, this is on a ratchet, so now it's not gonna fall. Click two. Remember on the previous generation, there were two pins here. You gotta pull the pins. It's all the way up, pull the pins and lower. Click three. Push forward for click four, and then it's all the way set down. Storage inside of this boat. And that's where your batteries are up top there. All the way through. Plenty of deep well storage here. Battery box or battery cable box is still there. Battery switches, same. 16 people capacity, that didn't change on either boat. Then we walk to the front of this boat. You have the finished pad here, a little bit of storage, or you can have the Natalie seat, so you don't walk as far forward as you do on the previous generation. Looking at uh, the 2024 G5 Tower, be the same as 2021 to 2023 in 2020 there was the g3.5 tower which is even different than uh our 2021 there new for 2024 it's ptm clamp force 3.0 board racks these things are pretty sharp they pivot just like previous years now again my fist it's about it's a little bit wider fork than the last model Last time they did uh, PTM board racks, but with this one, the big difference here, pull, ratchet, pull, 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 and then to release, it's very easy. So you can ratchet and it's much smoother and it feels like it's just more sensitive and more forgiving on the fiberglass or maybe carbon fiber boards that you'd be putting on your boat. These nice big rubber finishes here allow for a lot of tolerance when you're bouncing on the lake. And then these flexible forks here. The last forks were about this long. These are much larger and nice, very forgiving, very forgiving rack against your boards. And of course the release mechanism, instead of that button that's hard to jam in, it's very easy. Just push and release. It's a really nice upgrade for PTM. Appreciate you guys for that. Much needed. Speakers. We have these nice matte finished cans. And matte, really, again, geometric diamond etched speaker faces or grill covers that are throughout the boat, whether it's tower speakers or interior speakers on the unit. Really sharp finish there. Kudos to Wet Sounds and Malibu for that one. Now, again, I'm gonna set the camera down. This is your max pivot wake view bench with the integrated table. Of course, you've got the optional step so that you can step easily up and out or back in. But if we just want to leave this magnet in place and leave the seat where, where it is to sit on, we can do that as well. Now, what we want to do is we want to have as many eyes facing our surfer or our wake quarter or our foiler as possible. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to pick you want to be pretty aggressive with these things. They're all billet aluminum. I'm going to pick up, pull forward. Now you can stop right here. 
you had your all the way back position. This is a second location. In 2020, you only had two spots. You had all the way back or all the way forward. Now we're in the middle, creating a full bench that you can lay out on completely. Or option number two, this is how most of my owners are using the boats. They're pulling it up like this, put that back in place. And they're setting up a table. And you got your ratcheting seat back here. So most of our owners are sitting here. This table has got to be 20 to 22 inches in length. The cup holders are so much deeper. So that when you're sitting and the boat's moving, your can or your cup or whatever you have sitting here is held in place so much better than the previous generation 23 MXC. Again, much bigger gunnels all the way around, deeper cup holders, and now you've got four cup holders as opposed to the previous, uh, I believe it was three cup holders. Not the end of the world. However, turn this knob, let it fall right back into place. Pull our side. Actually, we can, uh, we'll keep it here. I'm going to pick it up again. You can go here with it. This is position number three. Or you can go all the way to position number four. So there are four different locations for the max pivot weight view bench and integrated table. All the way forward, which is perfectly in line with the side seats. Or you can go a little bit staggered backwards, farther back and set up the table, or farther back and have a totally flat bench bed area on the boat. So we'll set this up, put it back midway, pull our seat back down, backrest back into position, pull hard, slide it into place. Everything here is built in aluminum. I'm not worried one bit about pulling, pushing, shoving, whatever the case may be.